pretty big parking lot. There's that guy down there again. Here's your uh, handicapped parking, van accessible. Don't be a jerk and park in there if you're not handicapped or handy capable. Even if you got robot legs, chainsaw arms, there's probably someone, well, you know, as they say, there's always someone worse off than you. At least unless you're that one guy. All right, we cross this road again. And that was Tinker's Creek Gorge or Tinker's Creek Gorge. Scenic Overlook National Natural Landmark. That's a mouthful. And here we got a multi-purpose trail and the facilities, handicapped men, women, or probably unhandicapped men or women as well. They all share the same one. There's no line at the moment. Look at all the garbage. Come on guys, trash can is right there. Don't be a jerk. You know who does that? The guy that parks in the Handicap spot that's not handicapped. I mean, really, you can't walk to the trash can. All right, that's where we came from. This is where we're going. Back at it. Back on track. A lot of these drainage pipes must be a lot of running water from time to time as they felt the need to put that in plane going by up ahead in stereo Light uphill section here. Not a big deal though. Nice wide path. Pretty fairly smooth too. Ground's mostly frozen, so not very muddy. I'm not sure how muddy it would get if the ground wasn't frozen. It doesn't look terrible. You would think you'd see frozen puddles or whatever like we saw two three hikes ago going left over here looks like we're crossing the multi-purpose trail the sound off in the distance on the right don't see anything Wind's blowing, hopefully it's not too terrible for you guys. I'm gonna look both ways. Across the multi-purpose trail. Looks like a little, what would be a mud pit over here if it wasn't so frozen. Solid ice. Which is strange because it's not that cold and we're on this road again look down there where that yellow sign is that's where that overlook was the sign lets us know buckeye trail bridal trail more solid solid ice right there Oh, sorry about that wind, guys. It is blowing something fierce. Hear the train, the choo-choo off in the distance. I know this used to be like Indian, Native American, whatever we're calling them. 
these days territory I believe the Shawnee used to be around here and that's just a good guess because Shawnee golf course is fairly uh, fairly close by here I guess every territory with this was at one time Native American We go up, we go down, we go back up again. Walk along the road, obviously. I'm sure you can see it. Bit of ice down here. Deep uphill, a lot of decent sized rocks, some roots in the ground. I mean, nothing crazy, obviously. More down trees. You'd think a hurricane came through here not too long ago or something, but we don't get those around here. Just rip right out of the ground. And they cut them obviously so they wouldn't block the path because it's horse trail it's not what is that called equestrian trail where the horses jump it's a strange word equestrian you know why it's called that where well, you got a good story with some made up things why it's called equestrian Leave that in the comments below. Sorry about the breathing. I'm not in top peak physical condition. Just pretend you're hiking and I'm, I'm, you're carrying me on your back, breathing in your ear. Parking lot up there, but it doesn't look very easy to get to from and where we are. I think that's just like a little open field. It might have a name. A lot of ice over here. This part gets pretty muddy, it looks like. Not too bad today, still frozen. Then we get over here, we see all these viney looking trees. We haven't really seen many of those yet. It's weird how stuff grows in certain sections, but not others. I mean, look at this. 
rat's nest up there. You going through that? That is some top level bush bushwhacking. Luckily, Bedford Metro Parks, Cuyahoga Valley National Park, they keep this trail nice and clear for us. And you really never see them working or doing anything. I doubt they got in the middle of the night and start chopping the wood. I would imagine they do it at the least peak times. I got a little nice downhill slope here. A lot of deer in this area, these areas out in Malton Hills, but I haven't spotted one today, have you? All we saw was that, well, that was the last video, we saw a squirrel last video. You gotta be out at the right time, I suppose. Gotta have those eagle eyes too. Our blue blaze lets us know we're still on the Buckeye Trail. signs of motorized vehicle a track I imagine I don't think Joe Schmo's driving on this road I would assume probably the park workers driving out here to chop some chop some trees I mean you gotta be a real jerk to be driving on here if you don't work for the park probably the same guys that are leaving that trash by the bathroom over there but I really don't think I really don't think it's the public driving on here I assume the fine is pretty hefty if you're doing that and why would you do it anyway Down, down, down we go. I see, I see. I see with big big rocks. Looks like we're going down to the bridge and then we're going up, up, up. Oh, I see. Tracking poles don't even penetrate it. Bend down to get that shot, hopefully, for you guys. Back, back, moved around a little bit. I thought someone was running up on me.
You gotta keep your eye on a swivel out here. Who knows what kind of weirdos are walking through the woods talking to themselves. They got the heart pumping before we got the heart pumping walking up here. Props to you people that climb mountains, man. I don't know how you do it. You gotta be in some awesome shape. Stranger danger. Morning. Morning. You guys see that dog, man? He's He's a fierce looking boy. That's nature. For those of y'all who have never seen a dog before, that was the dog. Somewhat of a dog identifier been identifying for years. Not very rarely wrong. I come across one, I say, is that a dog? Or you might say, is that a dog? I tell you, yes or no. Fast too. I do the same thing with birds. We see something flying in the sky. You say, hey, is that a bird? say uh, you better believe it is buddy or I say no that's something else that is not a bird good exercise. Now we're in a pine. We're in the pines. Like that one Nirvana song. That was a cover of the other guy's song. In the pines. Or something something. I can't remember the words. You don't want me singing, believe me. GoPros don't come with auto-tune. dark over here. Look at all the pine trees up ahead. It's like, yeah, we see one here and there on our travels, but this is where they like to go, I guess. Grow. Go. Grow, I mean. They don't go here because they don't walk. We know that. Looks like we're going down. Up. We go up. We go down. We go left. We go right. I guess it'd be pretty, I guess it would call, be called treadmill hiking if we didn't go up or down or left or right and we just looked at the same thing. Do any of you watch these on your treadmills? I suppose if you want a slow, slow treadmill walk. Ah, down here, Bridal Veil Falls. Like I said, I grew up around here, I know this area. It's 
quite a few falls. Not sure exactly which one's the bridal veil. I don't even know if it'll be uh, it'll be running. We'll find out shortly. We're gonna go up here. Ideally, take some wonderful footage. Oh, almost took some footage of me falling on my back. Swap out the battery and the GoPro. Swap out the SD card and the GoPro. Oh, it's frozen. Now that looks freaking beautiful, right guys? Can you see it yet? Oh, it's flowing a little bit. Wow. This might win me uh, one of those awards if I knew what I was doing with the photography. Yeah, we're gonna swap out the swap out the battery, swap out the card, put it on our trusty stick. Ideally get some fantastic National Geographic baby millionth dollars for footage. Yeah, we might be here for a while. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Hopefully we don't kill ourselves on these icy stairs. Alright, I'll be back like in, like I never left.
All right, hopefully you enjoyed those photos, photos, videos. Now I feel old. I remember when I put this in and now replacing the wood already. We go to the left. Go up the boardwalk there, whatever you want to call it, the staircase. There's a parking lot up there. You could park your car, walk down there, see those same views. But uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to find uh, a more beautiful view than it was today. Pretty awesome. Now we go up, up, up. Pretty awesome. That's worth a trip in itself. Steep, big old rocks, ice. And I do it all for you. No, I'm just kidding. I do it for myself. This channel, I figured, hey, I'm not hiking anyway. Maybe I record it. Put it up on YouTube or Odyssey. Maybe some people enjoy it. Maybe some people are wondering, hey, what's that Cuyahoga Valley National Park all about? What's that Bedford Reservation all about? Oh, well, here's a guy. A man in his cam did it. I'll watch his terrible videos and see if I like what I see. If I'd like to go there myself. And I hope you find the we find the videos informative, entertaining. Therapeutic. Mountain bike trail that way. That's the wrong way. Whew. You just say, man, Dan, your videos say I watched put them on at night, they knock me right out. Well hey, that's fine. Whatever you do with it. I mean don't take it for your own. That's all I ask. And if it helps you in any way, hey. I humbly ask for a thumbs up. If you don't like it, I doubt you're watching this far into the video. But if you don't like it and you wish you had four hands for four thumbs down, well then click on that button. Click four times on that thumbs down button. That's all right. I could probably take it. A lot of ups and downs, but that's okay, right? Walking fairly close to the road again. As you can see, I'm sure. So ahead of us, you got the road. Then to the right of the road, you have the all-purpose trail. Now, I'm sorry, I keep calling it that. The multi-purpose trail. It is not all-purpose, as you cannot land aircraft on it. Ooh, might have a good view down here. Let's take a let's take a look. See, I'm not get run over by a bicycle, a mountain biker, mountain cyclist. Wrong way. Let's take a look. A lot of snow makes it look pretty. Not bad, not bad, right? We're up there, we're up here. Up into the stratosphere. Not really. Yield to horses. Absolutely. A guy I used to be related to saw a horse at the mall. I know the exact story. We saw, I know he saw a horse at the mall and uh, when he left the mall, he, he was missing a thumb. I don't know if the horse, horse probably sees the uh, thumbs and says, ah, whatever. That's a funny looking carrot, but I'm hungry. And once you, once the horse swallows your thumb, it's probably gone for good, I would assume. So keep your thumbs and fingers out of horse's mouth. And especially, especially out of the horse's belly.
bell horse people out there, you southern bells and southern boys. You can comment about that if you want. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know much about horses. I'm still convinced they don't even lay down. I think they stand forever. I might be wrong. So no horse to the right, no bike to the left. And you see our blue blaze. We're gonna keep it on the Buckeye Trail. Could be or not a mountain bike. We're not a horse either though, but we're just a man with the cam. A little chilly up here on this ridge. I'm not in the, I'm not worried that I'll go into hypothermia. Last Friday was the planned hike day, and I think it was 12 degrees, wind chill below zero. And I love you guys, all for you. But you're not getting me out there like that. So I think we're going to end up at Egbert Picnic Area, maybe that's what it's called? I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'll flash it up on the screen. If I remember. And that's where we'll stop for the day. And that's where the next video will start, northbound. I plan on doing the whole Bedford section of the Buckeye Trail, give or take. Some I might do, well obviously, some of them to do on foot, but some of these, some of this section is along the road. And I'm thinking, man, it's gonna be dangerous and boring doing that. So I think I'm gonna drive it. Why not, right? You'll still see what you need to see. Plus it'll go a lot faster. And I won't have to worry about getting run over. Look at these falls down here, guys. Voices, guys. I don't think they're in my head either. Stranger danger might be lurking around any corner. Got my head on a swivel. Nice flat path here. Can make some good speed. Keep my eyes peeled for the stranger danger. Hope you enjoyed that view back there. It's pretty cool how you, how you see all the ice, but the water is still flowing in certain spots. Beautiful. So I think the white blazes, I think that means mountain bike trail. And I do know the blue blazes mean Buckeye Trail. Oh, ho, ho, ho. slippery. What do you think if I wipe out 
it might get more likes or views. Yeah. That's okay. You don't need to do that. Not on purpose. I'm sure it'll happen eventually, right? And then we got cinematic gold. And probably a broken camera. All right. Buckeye trail, horse trail. This way we go. I rode my bike across that bridge once in the rain. Wiped out. I was going 26.1 miles an hour when I did it. All scraped up and road rashed afterwards. But it's strange because the pain, the pain never set in until I got home. Just that adrenaline pumping, I guess. I mean, I don't think I broke anything. Maybe my toe. Toe was all black and blue the next day. Scraped up my helmet. When I first started riding bicycle to, uh, for exercise. I think, man, I look like such a dork wearing this stupid helmet. What an idiot I look like. And now when I ride, of course it's been a while, but still now when I ride, I look at people without helmets, man, and I'm just like, whew, you're just asking for it. It definitely saved me a headache that day. I know that much. Oh, we got another sign up here. My mountains with a bicycle on it. That seems to say mountain bike this way, horse that way, blue guy that way. I guess white guy with a blue background that way. So everybody's sharing this path. Here's stranger danger. Morning. Morning. Be nice, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Not everybody wants to fuck you. <laughs> yep. For those of you wondering. That was a dog. Like I said, I'm very good at identifying them. You look like, sort of like a boxer with some scraggly hair. You still look like a good boy though. You can take a chunk out of me, so you must not be all bad. So we got road on the right. You can't see it, I can't see it either, but I know it's there. And it looks like, yeah, we definitely have road across the, across the way on the left. I mean, it's, we're not in the middle of nowhere. There's, it's developed all around outside of this park. But it's nice that they keep this mostly undeveloped. You get a little slice of, a little slice of nature. To break up the chaos. Friendship trail. We got to stay on this one though, because I didn't bring a friend along with me, except for you. We're getting close to picnic area. You can see people start carving, carving initials in the trees. So our, our uh, our hiking adventure will be probably coming to an end shortly. That's all right, there'll be more. A lot of initials in this tree. Well, they say take only take only pictures leave only initials in the tree Is that how it goes ah that's from a horse I'm very good at identifying if it's a horse or not as well we have not seen a horse yet today we've seen many icons of the horse. 
but not a real live horse. I don't know if you ride a horse out in this type of weather. Like I said earlier, I don't know much about horses, except for how to identify them. Well, hopefully it'll be another video after this. I'm actually going to the knee doctor tomorrow. And he's gonna say, which knee do you want to look at? I said, let's say, well, I want them both looked at, but I think you're gonna need two appointments. So hopefully everything's okay. I could hike forever, but twisting, turning, squatting, bending, that's when they start to hurt and snap, crackle, and pop. So hopefully I won't be out of commission, but who knows? Hopefully he says you're fine with being a sissy. And they'll slap some mud on it and send me on the way. I mean, obviously I could hike. Because if I don't hike, all the videos, you think they're boring videos now. Just you wait. Dan in the cam, sitting on the couch. Of course, people do watch some strange things. I mean, you're watching this, after all. Leave that out of your slow sleep. Leave that out of your fell asleep, and that's okay, too. Whatever you do, there's probably an audience somewhere out there, obviously. Normal, quote unquote, normal people watch the same type of videos, or I don't know what I'm trying to say. It really opens up over here. A lot of down trees, a lot of light coming through, and it's not, I mean, the sun's not shining. It's it's an overcast day. The intersection coming up. Now we're just crossing the road. Crossing the road. No bikes. Just horses and people. Something over there. Oh, I think that's a, I think that's a picnic area, and there is parking down there. But I'm not convinced that it's not closed off, up the road. I'll list below what the picnic area is called. But. A lot of places have been goofy lately where you think something would be open but they have it barricaded off I'm not sure why I mean there's nobody I don't see any cars down there I mean who goes on a picnic on a 31 degree day baseball field down there looks like Swing set, picnic tables. I don't see any pavilion or bathroom or anything like that though. I mean, what's a picnic area without a pavilion, right? Get that family together. Get the charcoal grill going. Oh, my mistake. There is a bathroom over there. Okay. So I do not see a shelter, so a pavilion, whatever you want to call it.
Look at this, look at this plant. I've never seen one of these. It, it sprouts gloves. Look at that. That's nature, baby. If you know what kind of plant that is, put it in the comments below. It looked like a small ladies glove. It only one looked like left hand, so I assume females have one hand, one pl one plant is female, one plant is male, and they probably produce left-handed gloves, and the other one produces right-handed gloves. Looks like we're going down, down, down. And then we're gonna go up, up, up. Probably. A lot of down timber. Just everywhere. I don't know how long it takes for this wood to rot away. I mean, it's, I have no idea. It could be 50 years worth of trees down over here, but I don't think so. There sure is a lot of it. Obviously, it takes a while to rot away once it falls over. we go. Trees just ripped out of the ground. Mountain bike intersection. Still going up. All right, I think we made it to the top. Well, very close to it. I mean, it's just a slight, slight, slight uphill right now. Multi-purpose trail. 
and the Rowad. I don't know if you can see it yet, but golf course is right up ahead as well. And the car's coming, here we go. Let's not get run over, even though it might be might be good for views. So maybe you'll see it now, that golf course. Like I said a few times already, I grew up around here. We used to go sled riding. I can't remember what hole it is. A nice steep hill and, and a golf cart path back up to the hill. It takes a walk, it's a walk to get there, but it's nice and private and it's a good time. Might actually be the, that hole up there with the park bench. I might be wrong though. No sled riding today, unless you really want to look like a fool. More, more than a fool walking through the woods talking to himself. All right, we got some downhill section here, which is nice. After all that uphill, whew, you need a little break. I got drinks in my backpack, but it's such a pain in the butt to grab them. I don't know, maybe you want to pack too high. What's nice is when you got a buddy with you, like, hey, grab me a drink. And you can grab his drink out of the out of their pack. And each sip you take is unless you gotta carry. path here just sharing it for a, looks like a little just a small section here before it splits off to the right and we go uphill there's a small ice crossing here Pretty, pretty solid. It does creak a little bit. Ah, oh, back up here we go. So that's the wrong way. So I assume they have a lot of bike paths, mountain bike paths, where you go one way and you get the end and you go the other way. Obviously, just one way would be kind of silly. Like I said, I don't know much about mountain biking. Oof. Got a parking lot down there. I really know no access to the trail. Not easy access anyway. Here I thought a while ago we'd be hitting that picnic area. We saw all that stuff carved into the tree. And clearly I was wrong.
Hopefully that wind's not too bad. When you're exposed on the ridge like this, you definitely notice the wind. After going up that hill, it's, it's welcome too. I welcome that wind. Nice straight path here. Uh, feels slightly downhill. All, all ice here. I'll avoid that. I don't think it's, it's definitely not deep, but definitely wouldn't feel good if we fell on it. All right, here comes some more bike path, mountain bike trail that is. As you can see, white blaze for the bike, mountain bikes. Blue blazes for the Buckeye Trail. Looks like we'll be crossing the road up ahead again. Another huge tree on the right there. Just ripped out of the ground. And it looks like there's a rock embedded in it. A boulder, I should say. Oh, it didn't break, but that ice sure gave way. I believe it's supposed to get up to like 37 today. And high 40s tomorrow. Fahrenheit, that is, for you worldwide watchers. Yeah, high 40s and rain tomorrow, so the little snow you do see, you won't be seen for too much longer until it snows again. This is beginning of February in Ohio, so we still have a couple more months to go. It usually snows in April. Sometimes you even get a little something in May. But February, March, we'll definitely see some more snow. I'm crossing the multi-purpose trail again. Mountain bike path comes out there and our Buckeye Trail goes this way. All right, I think our Egbert picnic area, I believe it's just right up there, of course. I thought that about a half hour ago too, so I guess we'll find out. And they got a, they got a bathroom there, parking, a lot of pavilions, I believe some grills, some running water, but I'm not so sure it's on in the winter time. If you go, I believe it's north of the area, you hit uh, Tinker's Creek, which we've been walking along pretty much this whole hike. 
I guess the water, the water's pretty fast down there in the summer and it's almost like a natural water slide. And I know a couple of people have died there. So I believe this was kind of last time I was up here, there were signs all up. You're like, hey, you better not be going down there. Police order. It's a shame. That's the way it goes though. Go down there fast, hit your you know, hit your head on a rock or something and go under the water and that's it. Oh look we got a new sign. A leaf, a man walking, and a white horse. So we're gonna go this way. Even though right there is our ending point. We're gonna do it right this time. So I'd much rather walk through the woods than on a paved path or a road or anything like that. And we're just gonna go closer to the the edge over here. Make a right and we'll be right there at the picnic area. And that'll conclude this adventure, if you call it that. If you're still awake and you're still here and you got any kind of enjoyment out of it, I humbly ask for a thumbs up. If you say, hey, this guy's videos are getting better. Hey, you want to subscribe? I mean, that's awesome. Supposedly, when you subscribe, it helps the channel out. That's what a lot of people say anyway. And if you like it, awesome. Tell me. Tell me what you liked. Will I do what you like in the future? I don't know. If you didn't like something, tell me you didn't like something. Say, Dan, I don't like you identifying dogs for me. You, died, you do too fast. You don't give me enough time to try to identify if it's a dog or not by myself. Well, if that's your problem, let me know. I'll give you, you know, maybe, maybe when you see a dog before I identify it, you want to pause the video. Take as much time as you need to say, is that a dog or is that not a dog? Hey, that's what the pause button's for. If you didn't like it, click that thumbs down button four times for me. Like I said, I'm not necessarily making these videos to make a living from. I mean, oops, don't get me wrong, it'd be awesome. I just figured, hey, if I'm going to hike anyway, get a little exercise, Lord knows I need it. Strap this camera to my chest and, hey, maybe someone will get enjoyment out of it. And if you did, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. And I know these videos are kind of long, and I don't know if you like that or not. I don't know if you like the commentary or not. If you don't like the commentary, let me know. Say, hey, it sucks. Shut your mouth, a-hole. I want to hear nature, and I want to hear you running your mouth. And will I do that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Like I said, I'm not making the videos for the masses. Ideally, I make it however I want to make it, and everyone in the world loves it. I know that's not going to happen, but... Wouldn't that be great? Just strap a stupid camera on you? Record it. Post it. And the world loves it. You know, life isn't that easy. I don't know if you can hear that water rushing, but it's a long way down. I don't know if we'll be able to get a good look or not. We're walking right on the edge up here.
a long way down. There we go. You might be able to see a picnic shelter already. In the next video, hopefully, going to the doctor tomorrow for my knees won't be terribly bad news, and we'll start the next the next hike from where we stopped here. Or maybe this will be the last last video forever. Hopefully not. We get some robot legs and keep on keeping on. Got your bathroom up there. Got a your water right there. Buckeye okay, Trail continues that way. So what do you say? We'll stop up here. In the next video, start from up here. Well, I mean, you got ton of picnic areas. There's a ton of parking over there too. That's your charcoal grills. That's your water. Got your swing set. Your trash can. Trash can. There's trash cans people. Use them. Alright, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Smell you later.